So this is a Fender Custom Shop 1963 Closet Classic from about 2000. I was looking for a Telecaster for ages and a friend of mine, Simon Law, found this for me in New York and he said it was really great and I believed him so I coughed up the cash and got it sent over. First time I'd ever bought a guitar without actually playing it and uh, it was it was it was great it was a great guitar it has improved immeasurably over the years I've been playing it. Nearly everything's original. This is the original pickup that came with the guitar, but the bridge is from an old 50s telly. Um, I just happened to have this bridge lying around with me uh, and swapped it out. The neck pickup, the original pickup in this was divine. And then one night I thought, wouldn't it be great to hear what it was like without the cover on it? So I took the cover off it and destroyed the pickup and uh, just, and I had it rewound, it just didn't sound the same. Then I had Don Mayer, um, he built me this, this is a super sport, and it is absolutely divine. Best neck pickup in the telly I've ever heard. Um, but everything else is standard. Um, the neck is maple with a rosewood. Um, it's a cap. Um, that's a cap, isn't it? As opposed, as opposed to slab board, this is a cap, and it is a older body. Candy apple red finish. Now when I bought this, it was new, so all of the wear is real. Um, and I like all the wear except for that one, which was when a flight case fell on the guitar. Um, when I first got the guitar, the nitro, um, the nitrocellulose lacquer hadn't cured properly on the neck and I ended up taking a lot of it off and I mean even now, 16 years after I've got it, I can still scrape bits of the lacquer off with my thumbnail near the, the neck here, but, oh sorry on the heel, but the rest of the neck, um, where a lot of the nitro's gone, that's it, gone off, you know, finally. And it just it sounds great. It feels wonderful. Anyone that's played this guitar will tell you how wonderful it feels to play. From the very first moment I played this live, I knew that it was special. I can play literally anything on this guitar. If I could only take one guitar to a gig, I could take this and basically get away with anything. Um, the clean sounds in it are divine, but the rock sounds in it are, are just fantastic as well. Um, this, the bridge pickup is so beefy, especially on the lower strings, it's fantastic, but it's still, it still has clarity. It still sounds like a Telecaster, but it just sounds like a really, really good Telecaster. I've done, let's see, I must have done 2,000 gigs on this guitar. Awesome, awesome instrument. I play in E flat generally um, because I sing as well, and um, it's just easier to play these, to sing these songs in E flat. Not so, yeah. It's I don't play specifically in E flat because of the way the guitar feels. I play it because it, it, I sing. 
Um, if I didn't, I would actually much prefer to play an E. I think it sounds nicer in E. But I, I'm so used to playing an E flat now. Uh, I use I used to use 11 to 52s. I now use 11 to 48s. Um, so I've gone slightly lighter on the bottom strings, um, and it. Yeah, it just it's a little bit easier to play, but you know certainly 11s at the top because of like the, you know it the the tension feels nicer under the fingers. Um, I do not have a light action; it's quite heavy. I've got quite a heavy right hand. I'm trying to control it, but um, yeah, I like the way the guitar feels with the big action. Um, you know, I like having to work a lot harder as opposed to having a really low action, really light strings, heavy strings, nice big action, rock and roll. If I didn't have that, I'd be happy. But, to be honest, it's been such a great guitar. Um, it's tuning is rock solid. I plug it into anything, it sounds fantastic. Um, no, it's, it's a really fantastic workhorse of an instrument. And you know, it has been worked really hard and uh, never, never given me anything but joy. <laughs> 